So the, with the overgrowth on that outer claw, it has a wee bit of a corkscrew claw. So I'm gonna hopefully post this video on a Tuesday and I'm gonna name it Transformation Tuesdays. Welcome to Tech TV. I don't know what you would call us, but I think we'll go down over the name of Hoof Trimmers. Good morning folks. Hope you are all well today. I've just got this little cow into the crush and her back left foot, the toe is actually pointing up at me. So it looks like it's very overgrown. So let's see how we can make her more comfortable. It looks pretty twisted in every direction, a little bit like Tom, so it could be a bit of a challenge. I normally start these trims off with the knife, but because there's so much hoof in this one, I think I'll start it with the grinder. It looks like there could be a lot going on underneath this foot. I'm just going to give you a little glance of it and comment below what you think could be wrong with it. Hopefully we won't recognise it in a few minutes. As I do the voiceover for this video, I want to welcome you all back to the channel. We have been busy working on a few things over this past few weeks that we are looking forward to bringing to you. But for now, it's great to be back. So I really wasn't expecting the foot to trim up like this. Yeah, yeah.
certainly wasn't expecting to find absolutely nothing underneath that. I thought we were in for a big case of toner crosis, but all is good. That cow was uncomfortable, and luckily I'm coming in, and as I say, I was expecting to find a problem. But it's great when we get them trimmed up, restore the balance and the comfort. And just in comparison, that was that cow's back left foot. When we look at the back right foot, it's completely different. It's a little bit overgrown, but an ordinary routine trim will sort this foot out. Apologies for the little blotch on the screen, which I didn't realise got on the camera at the time. As you will see later on in the video, it really enhanced my looks when the camera was on my face. Just a little bit of bruise in here, which I'm alleviating the pressure off with the model out. Great, Johnny. I really love these tech knives. Can I get you folks to go over and follow the female hoof trimmer on Instagram? Sophie is running a UK competition to win a set of these knives. Comment on the post and let her know that I sent you. She does great work for the cows that she trims alongside her father. So actually the foot there that I thought there was nothing wrong with, there's a little bit of bruise in there. It may be okay, but it's just a little bit soft. So I'm gonna put a block on that. So the block, the foot that I thought needed a block doesn't, and the foot that I didn't need a block, the foot that I didn't think needed a block does need a block, if any that made sense. And just by magic, we apply a block with the fantastic black magic glue. So that beach block that I've just put on there will last about six weeks, but that bruising probably only needs a block for about two or three weeks. So when the glue sets, I'm gonna leave it with a half a block. Sometimes farmers don't like to see you charging them for a block and then grinding half of it off, but it will serve this cow well. The thing I love about this black magic glue is that it's set and ready to go in 90 seconds, which really, really speeds things up. So I'm just gonna grind half of that block off now, so there'll be enough, enough wood there to last two or three weeks to heal the bruising.
So the, with the overgrowth on that outer claw, it has a wee bit of a corkscrew claw, what we talk about. So the bone structure is a little bit altered in there. So it'll always look a little bit different to a, a perfect claw, but still that cow's as comfortable as we can make her. And today is Tuesday. So I'm gonna hopefully post this video on a Tuesday and I'm gonna name it Transformation Tuesdays. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give the video a wee like and we will see you all in the next one. Take care and all the best. Ooh, ooh.